KTN News. All right, so it's that time of the week when we take a look at facts and uh, figures and statements that have been made. And the Kenya editor for Africa Check, Alphonse Shunde, joins me as always. It's good to see you this week. Thank you, Ivan. So let me just start by giving you a bit of a preamble about the facts we're checking tonight. This is a statement. We'll take a look at these figures. It's a statement that was made by President Uhuru Kenyatta on the 1st of January 2014. It was his New Year's statement. He talked about the cost of electricity. I want to just read that for you. He said the billions of shillings of investment in our energy sector will also start pouring in this year. That was 2014. Raising the ante on our plan to add 5,000 megawatts of electricity on the national grid in the next 36 months, which should expire this year, yes? Yeah. And to, get this, lower electricity prices by at least 50% in that period. So we then sought to check out whether indeed electricity prices have come down by half from the year 2014, that's the 1st of January, up until this point in time. So here we go. These are some of the figures that uh, Africa Check was able to get. I'll just do a quick rundown and then we'll talk about these numbers with Alphonse here. So in 2013, this is the cost of, fig um, of uh, electricity for households that have an average amount of 200 kilowatts per hour. In 2013, it cost 3,042. In 2017, um, it cost 3,400. This is for households that use an average of 200 kilowatts per hour. But we also went further, Africa Check did, um, to take a look at this monthly power costs because, you know, they say, you know, the various variables, yes, in yes. the cost of electricity. Uh, so it's sometimes difficult to judge. But maybe a month on month, cost will be able to tell us a different picture. So let's take a look at the next one to see these figures here because we took this from 2012 all the way up until now. So this is now again domestic consumers and I want to remind you that there's three bands of consumers but we're choosing to focus on domestic consumers all right. 2012 the cost per kilowatt hour 18 shillings 11 cents went down in 2013 17 shillings went up 22 shillings and 20 2015, 20 shillings, 23 cents. And in 2016, 19 shillings and 65 cents. If you want to take a look at from 2016 to 2012, yeah, there's definitely an increase. Yes. All right. So talk to us about these numbers, Shundu. All right. The first thing we did when uh -huh. we got this uh, claim, it mm. was reported as fact yeah. in one of the daily papers. So we asked them where they got the data, mm -hmm. and they told us they got the data from the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. Right. So we went to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, and we got this data in the consumer price indices that are published every month. Yeah. So we did an average of the cost of power for 20, uh, from 2013 mm -hmm. to 2016, and the graph shows in some years it peaked in 2014 mm -hmm. because of the different components that right. uh, are in an electricity bill mm -hmm. but then it started going down yeah but it is not at the level that it was uh, since uh, back in 2012 yes okay. for example this is as uh, the average for 2016 and uh -huh. this is pro possibly the figure at uh, December 2014 right. 2016 right but right now uh, the latest figures show it's uh, it's around 2068. Okay. Sense. Right. So for that, it is, it is still higher than it was. So we look at, uh, we went further and looked at the reasons why. Right. Because the, the argument is that people are paying for power, more for power under this administration mm -hmm. than what they did under the coalition government. All right. Which is different from the promise that was made. Different from the promise that was made. To at least half the cost of it. Yes. By 2017, 2017. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, we will come to that 5,000 megawatts a okay. bit in, in a bit. All right. So the thing is, uh, when we looked at the numbers, we, there is something called, we, have, we had a new tariff in 2014. So in this new tariff that has been implemented, the fixed charge mm -hmm. grew by 25% from 120 shillings to 150 shillings. Then there is an, a component called the few, uh, foreign exchange rate mm -hmm. uh, fluctuation adjustment. So every time the shilling... Yeah. Uh, against the dollar? Yes, against the dollar. Right. So every time that happens, uh, if the shilling is stronger, the cost goes down. If yeah. the shilling is weaker, the cost goes high. Right. So that is one of the things that uh, uh, determines the price. Uh -huh. So because of the increase in the component of the 
renewable energy. Mm -hmm. If you saw the, the, the this geothermal. Yes. Uh, well, Carrier 5 was launched just the other day. Yes. Yeah. So that input into the into the grid uh -huh. reduced the component called the fuel cost, cost charge. Yes. Yes. Now that is that one went down from 60 by around 60.1 percent okay. from seven shillings and 22 in 2014 that was july 2014 which is the highest uh -huh. to two shillings and 85 cents that's okay. there right now so yes. geothermal power in terms of renewable energy has helped to bring down the cost of electricity uh, bring down the cost of the, the 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 price of the fuel charge okay because there are three other three other, three components. other variables yes yes there All is right. a, uh, VAT mm -hmm. in September 2013 the VAT applicable on electricity was 12 14 percent yes and we passed the VAT act the VAT applicable was 16 percent yeah yes okay then we have we passed the water act mm -hmm. like parliament passed the water yeah. act right so they created a water resource management authority mm -hmm. now that authority uh, takes 0 0.05 cents of whatever con electricity consumption you make okay. uh, to like revenues for that authority. Uh -huh. Then we have the rural electrification program, which mm -hmm. takes 5% of whatever consumption you right. do. So all these components have worked to, have made it the electricity expensive. Okay. So if you were to draw a graph uh -huh. using just the using actual amount, the, yes. Uh, paid by consumers who spend, uh, uh, who use at least 200 kilowatt hours. Uh, the Kenya New National Bureau of Statistics defines yeah. them as um, uh, middle class. M okay, yes. okay, middle class. So yes. we can go That's back to the last one as you explained that yes. here, to the first one, yes. the graphic that we had. Okay. Yes. So for, on that one, you find that in 20, 2013, mm -hmm. the, the price is 3042 uh -huh. it has just kept growing to 3410 then in 2015 it was 3416 right then in 2016 it was 3393 and, and then 2017 the figure that the we figure. see here yes. okay all right so in all of this we must say that they haven't been able to cut down the cost of power by half yes the people won't feel it Okay. Yes. But yes. there is light at the end of the tunnel because of everything we're doing with renewable energy. Yes, an increase in renewable energy. Yeah. Uh, there's a likelihood that this, but it's not, it's not so fast. Mm. Yes. So uh, in the report that we did mm -hmm. for AfricaTech.org, we've put we've put data from a consultant firm called Regulus. Regulus. Web. Yes. Yes. They have all this data from government since 2008 using the gazette notices for kenya power and erc mm -hmm. and when you look at that data if you're going to the graph shows it's coming down from what way it was in 2014. okay so if you're to draw a line of best fit from 2013 to 2017 it's an increase okay but if that line you were to draw it from 2014 uh -huh. to now uh -huh. it's decreasing so you, uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel for this. Okay, yes. all right, okay, yeah. so that's our fact for tonight. Yes. But not able to do it in 36 months, but definitely some good news as time goes by. Yes, yeah. uh, they, they are not able to cut the power yeah. in 36 months because their 5,000 megawatts mm -hmm. uh, promise was abandoned. Okay. Yes, at some point. Yes. All right. Okay. okay. Great. Thanks for that. If you want to see more on this, if you want to read more about it, africacheck.org. That's yes. correct. And you can get in touch at africacheck at Shundu and at Yvonne Okwara. Hashtag fact check if there's.